Hey guys, this is Mason. Uh, today I'm going to do a little tutorial, and uh, we're gonna I'm going to be using Sony Vegas 13, uh, but this this could work for any of previous versions. I know for sure it'd probably be working with Sony Vegas 12 because uh, there's no there's no difference between them. But I don't know about the previous versions. I'm not sure, but it should be able to work. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on how to get like objects in your video. And uh, you'll, we're going to be using the green screen effect in order to do that. So, uh, to get a green screen effect, basically, uh, you can look them up on YouTube. Like, say you want, say for instance, you need sparks, and you need these sparks in your videos to have like an effect in your video to where, like, if you shoot a gun and it hits an object, then there's going to be sparks flying off, you know, or sparks are being flying off the gun when you're shooting it. That's just for uh, an example. So you'll just be going on YouTube or something and looking up uh, Sparks green screen effect. And basically what that's going to be is going to have uh, Sparks. And there's going to be a green screen like behind that. And you can basically take that green screen out and you can overlay the Sparks in the video. So what I did, I'm going to go to my browser and here's my downloads right here. And it's called Sparks and Green Screen Free Stock Footage, and that was off a YouTube video, and I downloaded the YouTube video. So let me go ahead and get this. Show in folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here, and there's already a video I'm gonna overlay, overlay it with. Look out of that. So I'll show you what uh, it looks like. So there you go. Here, there's the sparks. You can, you know, you can crop it, make it smaller, or whatever. But those are the sparks, and they move and everything. That's just the music with the video. But um, yeah, they move and stuff. And so basically, what we're going to be doing is taking that green out of it. So what you need to do is you need to click on events, event effects click on there and then you're gonna scroll over and it's under the C's and it says chroma keter right here Sony Cr chroma keter so you're gonna click on that There it is. Okay. So what you need to do, basically, it's gonna like detect the color that you want to take out of the video clip. So what you need to do is you come down and click on color, and you, as if you're gonna be picking a color, and you'll see this little tool right here, and it's color picker. And you click on there, and you'll have this little. Um, this is gonna replace your little arrow. So you're gonna come over here, and you're gonna click on this green right here. Go ahead and click on it, and it takes out all of that green right there. And you can, there's a few other things you can do. You can make it a little blurrier so it's not as sharp, you know. All kinds of different things you can do. Lower the threshold, which is like lowering the uh, the amount that you can see the cutout. So you did that already. That looks good and stuff. Go ahead and click X. You'll drag it over. And um, give it a second here. There. The sparks is overlaid in the video. I this is that like a uh, video I could like really use to to show the um, the sparks in but I'm just going to play the video here real quick. I'm going to take the audio out. Are you tired or you hungry? So you can kind of see it's moving in the video and stuff, and it's 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 perfect. So if you want to make this uh, the the sparks uh, smaller or something, you can just simply go and pan and crop, crop, and you'll just zoom out, and it'll make the the sparks smaller wherever you want to put them. So um, yeah, you can do a bunch of different stuff. It doesn't have to be smart sparks. You can be all kinds of different stuff. So that's basically how you do it. So thanks for uh, thanks for watching.